What's up guys? We are at SeaWorld San Antonio today and it is 4th of July. Sure seen that color. This is my first SeaWorld outside of Orlando. A few cool rides here. I forgot that Texas Stingray is a thing, but that is here. And Steel Eel looks like a wonky, fun Morgan Hyper. Hyper. There's a whole world to see over there. Let's go in it. Alright, this is the first coaster that I'm coming across, and this will be the last Morgan coaster in the country for me to ride. Let's see if it steals the show. in the back row, once in the front row. That is hands down, or hands up, the best ground up Morgan coaster in the country. And now I can also say that I've ridden every Morgan coaster in the United States now. This ride is ridiculously good, both in the front row and in the back row. The ejector is ridiculous, especially in the back row. But even in the front, you get some solid uh, flow ejector. Not quite ejector, but flow ejector. Awesome ride. Well, this looks cute. Let's uh, go break on in. Can you shut the up? coast nothing too extreme. Theming is somewhat okay, like before the launch and then after the launch there is water. It's water theme I guess. I mean there's different stories like different like rescue missions that you can go on but it doesn't really elaborate too much after it tells you like oh you're going to rescue a sea lion or a turtle. It tells you you want to do that and then you launch and then water. It's cute. So yeah I totally forgot that Texas Stingray is a thing until I pulled into the parking lot and saw it in the skyline. I'm like, oh yeah, this exists. So uh, there's like no line for it, so let's do this a few times. Texas Stingray four times. I did it once in the front row, three times in the back row. Even though I did it more in the back row, I think it is more of a front row ride. Then again, I think all GCIs are front row coasters. This is simply a solid ride. I wouldn't say it's the best GCI out there. Mid to upper tier, I'd say. I know a lot of people say that it's very rough, and I guess so for its age. It's relatively new. I think this is only its second year of operation. It's a little bit rough, but nothing unbearable by any means. If anything, that gives it more character and makes it more out of control feeling. Solid ride. I liked it a lot. Yeah, no. I don't care how hot it is. I ain't doing that. And it's like an hour and a half wait here, so uh, no thank you. All right, I see you over there, dude. Not today. Oh crap.
it seems like the Rapids ride is closed for the day. I would make a pun about it, but my pun supply is a little dried out. <laughs> oh, wow. Let's go encounter a penguin or two. This will be my first non-Six Flags Batman clone. that I'm all about supporting your supports, but this ride is just like, it literally spanks you in the back row. So instead of supporting it, I'm gonna spank this girl. She's bad. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I'm gonna go over here now. <sighs> all right, I have a debt to pay to my Instagram followers. So they voted for me to ride Aquaman back at Six Flags over Texas, and I didn't get a chance to ride it. I really don't want to do this, but <sighs> this is for you guys. choices were made and deeply regret it. At least my feet didn't get wet. That's what really gets me the most is when my feet get soaked. Then my feet are just damp and squishy the rest of the day. Thankfully that didn't happen, but the rest of my body, drenched. That's for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Now like the video. Well, I was gonna dry off on tidal surge, but that line... It says 30 minutes, probably longer than that. No thank you. Maybe I'll dry off on Texas Stingray. This thing is a whole different animal later on in the day. That thing has really sped up a lot. Drive me off a little bit, but I'm still a little damp. I think a little steel eel could help with that. Still did the job, I'm now completely dry. Now it's boom boom time. So, leaving the park was quite an adventure. Filming in Algeria with the park just wasn't even on my mind. I just wanted to get the hell out of the park because the crowds were just astronomical. That park is not meant to handle high capacity crowds whatsoever. Between actually like walking to the exit and then driving from the parking lot to the exit was horrible. It was absolutely horrible. And the fireworks show was not that good. If I would have known that the fireworks show was going to be like that, I would have left right when it started and tried to avoid the hellish mass exodus that happened. But besides that, the rest of my day at SeaWorld was actually great. Crowds during the day weren't too bad. I mean, honestly, I was expecting a lot worse for 4th of July. But as the day went on, it did get more and more crowded because I think more people were coming into the park later on to catch the fireworks show, which we were all highly disappointed about. But that's beside the point. 
Steel Eel was phenomenal. I think that is the best ground up Morgan coaster that I've been on. And Texas Stingray, that's a super, super underrated DCI. I'm not sure why people talk down on us so much. I had a blast on the ride, and as the day went on, my later rides in the day, it was running so fast, it was so much fun. So it definitely is a nice park, but I would say of all the SeaWorld parks that I've been to between SeaWorld Orlando, Busch Gardens Tampa, and Busch Gardens Williamsburg, this is the lesser of the parks I've been to. I'm not saying that it's a bad park, but just comparing it to the other SeaWorld parks is definitely on the bottom end of the spectrum. At least when it comes to the theming in the park in general and then the theming to the rides, I feel like everything's just, just, just kind of half-assed. But that's just being a little nitpicky there. You should still definitely check out this park if you're ever in the San Antonio area. It's definitely worth a visit. I am exhausted as hell, honestly. This trip has been fun, it's been a great trip, and I still got a few more days on this trip coming up, but goddamn, I am tired. After today, I'm going to Houston, doing a few parks, then doing Magic Springs after that, and my last coaster will be Air Force One at Grand Spot Atlanta, followed by an 11 hour drive home. I don't know why I do this. Why am I ranting? Right from post, right camera right here. All right guys, I wrapped the video up here. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys in the next loop. See ya.